Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I got a wood stove for a tent. A camping wood stove. It was the inverters going off. So uh, I'm making electricity. That storm just missed me. Or I just missed it. So if you want to see how little it is. <laughs> it fits inside your tent. It's a three and a half inch. And I got a, I got a, <laughs> I got a C clamp holding that in place. That's a four inch pipe. So it'll help if the power goes out. <sighs> so I also have a kerosene heater in a box that I need to get going. I'm procrastinating on that. All three of those are just going off at the same time. Two of them stopped, and, or at least the fan to cool them off. And so there was only one of them running when I started the video. Yeah, the, sol the sun is out, and we're making lots of solar power today. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I think I'm losing a little bit of smoke through here. I'm going to go get some putty, hook that up. It's still pretty warm. And I'm going to probably put an inch. Well, i got to get a plate. i got to get a stone underneath for the heat, the heat rack or whatever, the heat shield. i got to make it safety, safety. got to follow the rules. Um, the bird is going off again. So, um... Got to hook that up, and I'm probably going to raise up the back end like an inch because all the smoke rolls out the door. So, once you start a fire, then and, and you go to restoke it, then all the smoke slips out. It's not like a conventional wood stove, it just pours right out. I don't like that. So, now it's going to stick up the, down, the basement and it'll go up the stairway eventually. But I keep that door closed until I figure out what's going on with this. So yeah, it's just for a tent. It would be fine and dandy like that, but in the house, it's a little stinky. <laughs> it stinks ten times worse than a wood stove like the one in the garage. Alright. I'm going to sign out. And uh, have a nice sunny day.